Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to teach you how to create an online test in Google Drive. The first step is we'll go to Google Drive, which is at drive.google.com. You can use your regular email or your Mod Hall 3 email. Any Google account will work. When I'm in Google Drive, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Create. Google Drive is like Microsoft Office, so there are many different types of things I can create. What I want to create is what's called a Google Form. So I go down here and I click on Form. I have just created a Google Form. Now I need to title my form. I will title it up here. We'll call this Sample Test 1. And the directions, uh, we'll type right here, please answer the questions clearly, period. We'll keep the directions simple. Obviously, for uh, your particular test, you'll want to have uh, more specific directions, uh, specify anything you need to do. The first question title, we will title question one and we will title this what is four plus four and our help text is utilize addition we're gonna have a simple text box we have a few options we can choose from text Paragraph text. Paragraph text is simply a much larger text box that they can type more into. Multiple choice. Check boxes. Choose from list, scale, or grid. Um, let's do an open answer text because this is a really easy question. Now we want to make sure that they answer this, so we're going to make this a required question. We will click done. Now, our normal standard quiz that is created for us, or Google Form, uh, has two questions. Here's our second one. You can see I highlighted that. It turns yellow when I put my mouse over top of it. I go over here to the pencil icon. I click on edit to edit that question. I'm going to title this question two. What is four to the second power? My help text is utilize what I taught you. Obviously, that's a ridiculous statement, but you need to have something there. That's what I've chosen to type. Now, for this one, we'll make it multiple choice. Now, is the answer 32? Is it 16? 12? Or 11. So those are our four choices. Of course, 4 times 4 is 16. So the answer will be B. We're going to make this a required question. We'll click Done and save that question. Now, I need to add more than just two questions to my test. I'd like to show you some other question types. So we'll go to Add Item. We'll go to Paragraph Text. And question 3. Who came up with the formula for a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Now, if you copy it to the clipboard um, subscript, uh, for example, the small little 2 that is located um, higher up above the uh, letter or number, you can paste that in. I've chosen to save time and I've not done that. Um, obviously, if you're doing a math test, you'll want to have more specific questions. A help text is consult your teacher if you have a question. Obviously, you don't need help text if you don't want it. Paragraph text, we'll keep that as a big box. Make this a required question. Done.
Now, for this one, let's choose a scale question. How, question four, how well do you like Mr. Goldstein? We won't have any help text, so we'll make it a scale from one to five. One being boring, five being the greatest, make that a required question, done. And finally, um, because I like to have the kids uh, not log in, that way it saves us one step in the process, um, and they need to make sure they enter their name, we'll go here and we'll add text. And I will click here, and I'm going to drag my question the whole way to the top. And the question title is, what? Yes, your name, enter first and last. Okay. And we'll make this a regular text box that, of course, has to be a required question. And here we have our mini test. Um, it is appears to be done. If I wanted to edit any of these, I simply move my mouse over top of it. It's highlighted yellow. Then I click on the icon that is the pencil to edit it. Um, I can also duplicate the question or I can destroy the question or delete it by clicking on the trash can. Um, for the most part, I am done. I could change the theme if I want. I don't want to change it. The colors are fine. Um, and I'm, I'm ready to go. If I wanted to add anything else, like um, having a few questions on each page, I would simply add a page break. And I could also have the option, uh, if I create a page break, to force you to go to an, another page and you would no longer see uh, the questions you've already previously answered. Uh, there's a few different ways you can go about that. Um, it's probably more complicated than necessary for most of what you'd want to do. I'm now going to click Save. It is now saved. I can email this form, but what I like to do is I like to just click down here where it says, you can view this published form here. I click on that, and it opens up my form. So at this URL or web address, I copy that to the clipboard using Control C or Command C, and this is what the students will see if I send them this link. So in my PowerPoint, I'd go ahead and I'd put that up so they can see it. Now, if you wanna really save yourself some time and effort, because the kids are never going to be able to type that big long web address. Go to yourself, tinyurl.com, and at tinyurl, I paste the big long URL here, and I click make tiny URL. It gives me this one right here, so I'll now copy that to the clipboard, and I will put this address here up on my PowerPoint. And then I'll have all the kids either on the laptops or in the computer lab, go to that address. They will then uh, type that in and they'll answer those questions uh, because they'll see this form. So what is your name? Here's an example. Mr. Goldstein is four, eight, uh, 16. Let's get this question wrong. Einstein, uh, two, submit. Okay, my response has been recorded. You have just created a test. That is how a student will submit it. Uh, we've also showed you how to uh, shorten the URL so that you can put it in a Microsoft PowerPoint file and the students will be able to type it into uh, their web browser without any problems. In the next video, I will show you how to take that data from the uh, database that Google has created for us and make it useful. Thank you.